Hello you guys, I'm the Diva and I am back with my September favorites you guys. I just really wanted to talk to you guys about a few of the items that I have been loving for this month. I know the month isn't over but I figured I would go ahead and get get this video out. Um, let's go ahead and let's just dive right on in. The first thing that I wanted to talk about is a brush and this brush is not clean. I have been using it. Um, it is my Sonia G Face 2 brush. Okay, you guys have been seeing this brush in a lot of my videos. I love this brush. This brush just, I don't know, it just places my foundation on my uh, powder foundations and all my powder products actually it places them on my face in a airy way I don't even know how to explain it and um, when I first got it I thought that I was gonna have an issue with it being this small because it's not that big it's really a small brush but um, when you dip it into your powders and you actually buff it onto your um buff the powder onto your skin this glides across your skin and it just applies the product in a beautiful way it's almost like you are airbrushed i just love this brush i use this brush to apply my um my uh under eye brightening powders i use this to apply my mineralized skin finish which is my like setting powder i use this for my finishing powder to just buff and um blend all of my makeup together so that it looks it just makes my face look really really put together and nice and so i really really love this brush i wanted to talk about this brush first just to get it out of the way because i use this brush for a lot of the products that a few of the products that i'm going to be talking about in a minute this is an hourglass ambient lighting powder okay this is what the product looks like it is just a swirl of bronze and like a champagne highlight type of um, color. After you contour and then you put this right here on, if you're my complexion, it just makes your look so complete. It takes your, um, from your regular skin color, then you put your bronzer like up in here and then your contour is right behind that and you mix all those together it just makes it oh it just makes your makeup look so gorgeous um i'll go ahead and um do a swatch of it that's kind of what it's gonna look like but it's gonna be blended out so you really won't see it quite that heavy <laughs> Like, I've been wearing this every day. And when I haven't been wearing this one, I've been wearing the other one that I will be talking about. And I can't believe I pulled this other one in to this video because I kind of just got this other one. But it, it took me. It took me by surprise and I have been using it every day. But... We're not talking about that one just yet. You guys, this is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. If you guys are sleeping on MAC, you need not be. I think I'm gonna do another Don't Sleep on MAC video. All right, this is what the, um, the Mineralized Skin Finish looks like in dark. And I'll swatch that as well, but it is just my skin color, you guys. And this is beautiful on my face you guys I have um, used a lot of different face powders and I always come back to this one I've used one from Chanel I've used one from Dior I always come back to this one and 
I just love it. It's between this one and I can't remember the name of it, but it is one from Laura Mercier. Holy Grail Status. The both of those together are just, whew, they're good. That is always in my in my favorites, and I really do need to get another one of these. I should have went online when um, Mac had a 25% off. I don't know what I was thinking. I hope it's still up. I don't know if it is, but if it is, then I'm gonna go on there and get another one. Like I need a backup of it because I run through that stuff. Okay, the next thing that I wanted to talk about is a blush. You guys, when I saw this blush, I knew I needed this blush in my life, in my collection. I was like, I don't know, I don't know. That's so, that's different. <laughs> but it works out so well. I do have the blush on today, so um, yeah. And I hope you guys can see my blush. It is just gorgeous. And if you had not already guessed, it is my Dior blush. It is called the a Dior Rouge blush. Okay, this is in number 643 stand out. This is such a beautiful color. Um, it is an orange blush. Look at the pigment payoff. This is just a beautiful color. No, it is not going to be like a pow orange on your face. This is more like an orangey bronze. Like you went out into the sun and just soaked it all in. But you don't want to do that because then you've been... you. Um, end up getting skin cancer and all that kind of stuff. So why not get you a little blush? I have been using it every day. Like I can't even put it away. I tried putting it in my in a drawer so that I wouldn't use it. I would use something else and I went in that drawer, pulled it out and started using it again. Like I could not stop using it. Okay, now let's talk about lashes, you guys. I do not, um, I do not wear uh, false lashes anymore. I stopped doing that forever ago. It just got to be too much, and I don't, I don't want to do it. I have pretty long lashes. I believe they're long enough for every day. Like I cannot be. When I was in the military, you guys, I really wanted to wear lashes like every day. I really wanted to wear lashes, but that was not <laughs> that was not something that I was going to do. So, I would have to wear lashes on like the weekend and stuff like that. I don't know. I just stopped wanting to even wear them. I used to want like my nails painted all kind of crazy ways. But you can't do that while you're in the military. They have to be like baby pink or something. They have to be like a natural color. Like you can really you ain't even supposed to be wearing red in the um red and hot pink, all those colors. You're not even really supposed to be wearing that. Some people got away with it, but you know, you really ain't wasn't supposed to be wearing all that. And I didn't get to dye my hair all these crazy colors. You can't be doing all that because you know what? Uncle Sam owns you. So um, when I, I said when I get out, I'm doing all of it. I was like, I'm going to get my nails done in all these crazy colors, crazy ways. I'm going to go and I'm going to dye my hair all crazy colors, purple, green, whatever. And um, yeah, and I'm going to be wearing all this loud makeup. Nope, I didn't do any of that. I did not dye my hair a crazy color. Mm. Mm. Actually, I don't dye my hair because I probably could die if I dyed my hair because I'm allergic to it. And which is exactly why you can see all my grays. Okay. Um, I don't go get my nails done. I polish them myself. And usually the craziest thing that I'm going to do to my nails is have glitter on it. That's about it. Glitter nail polish. And for, as far as my makeup goes, you guys see that all the time. I don't go crazy with my makeup. It's like 
basic bitch makeup you know what I'm saying so um yeah I actually did not do any of the things that I thought I was gonna do as soon as I got out of the military but we're not talking about that I digress <laughs> the Bobbi Brown eye-opening mascara this stuff is so good so good it lengthens my lashes my eyes they look so wide open they are curled I mean I don't I never curl my eyelashes but when I put this on it looks like my lashes have like a curl to them up and especially my lower lashes I love this on my lower lashes it's crazy the only thing the only thing that I don't like about this mascara is the fact that this wand is the size of King Kong this is a hella big wand but I'm guessing that's why you get that that length and that it, it's just open your eye your eyelashes just open your eyes up with this mascara I love this mascara this Chanel lip gloss it is a um, Rouge Allure lip gloss and it is in number 18 seduction you guys this is the color of the lip gloss it is the uh, li lip gloss it is the lip gloss that I am wearing in this video. I have been wearing this lip gloss to death. Let me swatch this for you. I don't know why I'm swatching it because it's on my lips. But I'm going to swatch it anyways. So that is what the lip gloss looks like. Although you can just see it on my, on my lips. <laughs> this lip gloss feels so good and moisturizing especially when I use my that lip sleeping mask from Laneige when I use that and then I go in with this my lips are like thank you you are so kind to us um I should have put the lip sleeping mask in here too because I just love that stuff but I did not so we won't continue to talk about it okay the last thing that I wanted to talk about you guys is this palette right here I'm so sorry you guys oh but I had to do it I had to put this palette in here because I love this palette and these two together are just like a match made in heaven like I do I do I do I do yes these two are just oh I have been killing these four um these two are all right I'm going to say I've never really went for out went to hourglass for their blushes so these two are all right but these four right here amazing okay this one right here underneath my eyes is heaven 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 it just gives my under eyes some light without um looking it, it just it just melts into my skin it just looks really good i feel because when i look at myself it doesn't look like i have anything underneath my eyes but i know it's there and it um my eyes look lifted i have dark circles under my eyes i know it's because i don't get enough sleep but it's also probably because i don't drink enough water and it could be genetic i don't know but i have dark circles so my under eyes are are dark so i rely heavily on concealer and my uh, loose powder and this right here um, I was using a different one but it was more yellow I still love it it, it was 
it was hourglass as well so I still love it I still will use it when this one is gone hourglass I'm gonna need for you to make this right here into a full size we're not we're not having that this right here needs to be a full size this right here needs to be a full size the both of these need to be a full size this one right here I love using it in place of using this like I use these two interchangeably I just feel like they're almost the same let me look this one is just a little bit deeper this one is the radiant bronze light and this one is the one from the palette so this one right here is a little bit lighter the one in um by itself is just a little bit more bronzy which is why i kind of love it yeah these two need to be by themselves oh i need to oh i need a full palette of this i don't remember how much these are i think these are like 40 or 50 dollars i don't know but i would i would pay good money for both of those um bring them out bring them out i think that's it you guys i think that's all of my favorites um i hope you like them tell me what your favorites are until next time please like comment and subscribe bye